Let's just remind ourselves that when it comes to energy, we have slightly different requirements for men and for women. So let me put the sort of calorific requirements for men in first. We would anticipate that men on average would require something like 2000 kilocalories per day of energy, okay? And if we were to uh, consider that the equivalent for women, we would anticipate that being something along the, round, <laughs> along the lines of 2000 kilocalories per day so what we're saying for to begin with there is that on the whole um, as an average uh, men require consumption of more calories than women but of course it's a huge generalization everybody's different right so let me put that in here everyone <laughs> is different and we've even looked at things like the difference between kind of activity levels for people who are sedentary and active and sporting everyone is different so what we want to look at here is the factors that relate to kind of the energy need, needs energy needs that people have why would some people require more energy intake than others and what what sort of dictates that so the first one is this sort of mysterious word metabolism well let's first of all demystify what this word means guys you will know from your biology that it is the sum of all chemical processes in the body to so just remind yourself of that so basically in the body so what that means in essence is that some people have a higher rate than others and as a result of that that means that they require more energy a greater energy need <coughs> than the average okay now if one's metabolism are high or low that would mean that consuming that amount of food would be necessary or if you consumed uh, if you had a low metabolism consume more than you you should then you're taking on board too much energy okay fine let's look at the next point it's a real obvious one we've got the notion of age you know basically guys children children on the whole eat less than adults why because adults are bigger they they have more to f sort of fuel so adults more generally but another point we want to make here is that elderly people what am i doing elderly people tend to eat less okay so just be aware of that so there is a bit of a distinction there we can also say that body size is a really important factor, of course. Now, this isn't to say, you know, get as big as you can and therefore you can just eat more. But on average, if someone's body size is larger, so if we've got, an in, I've got a larger body, this is going to mean more energy is required to fuel that. Now, think about that from a practical perspective. If someone is 10 stone and someone, uh, and, and if you, it, sometime in the future, they're 15 stone, they've got to move that extra five stone around when they're walking, when they're cycling, when they're doing whatever that requires more energy. We could also talk here about body composition, body composition body sorry to do that to you body composition my, my computer is very loud today body composition now remember that if someone has more fat that is going to require more energy okay so be aware of that um, it needs more or more energy needed just what i was saying before to move that weight all right so if someone's got more body fat it requires more energy to shift that around um, so just be aware of that we've looked at gender already i've sort of mentioned it above so i'll just categorize or clarify that point we've got this idea of women for two thousand calories men for two uh, for two and a half thousand but basically what we're saying is men consume more energy that's in essence what it is that we're saying there two last points from me we've got the idea here squeeze this one in here we've got the idea here of physical activity levels and again you might want to come back to the notion of uh, physical fitness for health and exercise someone who is partaking in lots of physical activity sport is competing they're going to need obviously a lot more energy sometimes significantly more than someone who's not um, but that's that's how that is that's normal and then the final point guys is climate generally speaking if we live in cold environments or very hot environments we need more energy okay so we need more en energy for that thermoregulation but these things are relatively marginal just be aware of that but really hot climates you know if we happen to be living near an equator for example or if we were living near the arctic those people would um, consume um, more energy per day for regulating temperature that takes energy to do that sort of negative feedback loop requires energy of course so those are the factors that influence how much energy someone's someone needs there you go